Hey guys, welcome back. Lucian here with you, like always, back on the Crack Pack server. So I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, Puddlematic 3000 in the last uh, episode. Things were working fantastic. I enjoyed how well this build came out. But pretty cool. Easy to replicate. Uh, let me catch up on what I've done. Uh, remember that last episode we actually I rewired this system just a touch. Well, I'm going to rewire it again. Uh, pretty soon because I am working on getting some dense cable so I got 14 now so I'm working on get some dense cable and just string a line of dense cable from over here and then just basically having one piece of dense cable to run all these uh, interfaces and stuff so that's a work in progress and I got some got an automated wool coming in from a um, from down the overworld I have just a uh, MFR rancher hooked up with some sheep, bringing some wool. So let's see how much wool we have. Uh, ten. So I can make some more covered cable. Ten. And looks like you're all all good to go. So we'll let you guys run. So that's a work in progress. Um, what else did I need to kind of catch you up on? <clears throat> I think that's it from over here. I made myself a magnet from Ender IO. It's fairly simple. I also made a matter transporter from Practicalities, and I actually brought a blaze spotter back with me. So I went to grab, went to the Nether and grabbed one, and that's really the only way to move, uh, but move spawners because we don't have Java barrels, which brings in the dollies. So that's fine. It works. No big deal. Um, over here, I'm also uh, I, I did get one comment supporting the blood magic thing, and it, it is working. I'm getting all emo on myself over here. Uh, just kind of every time I walk by, I just stab myself a few times, and I just got a transfer node. It looks like we're getting our 19th. I think I got a couple in the Emmy system, so I'm getting that kind of going slowly but surely but we got plenty of other projects to work on so I think it's one two three four five I think it's five five stabs per stone I could be wrong could be four but we'll jump over here over to the kind of the farming section well, actually let's fill you back up with lava so it's we're probably gonna need this I am gonna fix this system very soon we're actually going to work on power generation today I'm um, trying to get away from the lava a little bit because lava it's a good beginner fuel beginning power but I try to get away from it as soon as I can because it's just so overused so over here I started a, a little farming platform station thing whatever you want to call it so I have a, a nice 7x7 seven seven here 7x7 seven seven here I went ahead and mounted or uh, put some sugar cane and some cactus over here. This is actually the reason why I initially made the magnet, because if since the items just kind of float, I was losing the sugar cane by hitting the cactus. So shift right click to turn that on, and everything just kind of gets sucked right up. So sugar cane is going to be important in our build today. So that's why I was kind of trying to get a rush on sugar. So we got that going, and I'm going to continue to expand on this. I think maybe over here we can do like the uh, maybe harvest craft farms. I'm not really sure. I just just cobbled it up and um, just kind of just kind of wait and see. But I know I can use these, you know, maybe for potatoes and for carrots or whatever. Uh, so yeah, got that going up here. I already laid down this area, laid down some track, because it's been like, I don't think I've played with Steve Carts since 1.5.2. Uh, so, I don't know, I just wanted to do something different, so I kind of laid this out for a uh, Gal Gadorian harvester from Steve Carts 2. So we're going to get that going, and this will be for weed up here. So not bad. Not a bad system at all. So that'll be a future episode. And 
So just we're going to keep expanding that way as we need it. I still got a bunch of glass to cook. I don't know if I just said it a minute ago, but started working on a platform over here for blood magic, but I was lacking some inspiration. So I just slapped down a floor and we'll see what this morphs into. Not really sure yet. But anyway, on with today's project. So power generation. Uh, with the adding of all the um, AE2 stuff and everything else is going on, my lava my lava generators back there in the wall are stressed uh, stressed and stretched out. In fact, I cannot run my whole AE system and run my full ore processing center without taking a hit on my power. So I'm going to do something completely different, something I've never done before and bring you along with it. So it's actually going to be from Ender.io. Now Ender.io, you've seen me use it quite a bit and I and I like Ender.io and I honestly think that Ender.io is one of the best not well known or often used mods, if that makes sense. It's a very good mod, it's got a lot of capabilities but I just don't think a lot of people know it's there or know how to use it well. So anyway, on with today's project. So we're going to turn this into sugar, which is what we need. Now I needed a few more things I need to craft up. I need some quartz. I need some. Which glass is this? Mm. Reservoir. In a reservoir. There you are. Fuse quartz. Okay, so just. Alright, that's cool. Easy enough. Quartz. So let's just toss that in there and let that get cooked up. Um, I spent quite a bit of time last night just starting to set up a lot of these recipes in here st slowly getting all the machines automated you should be done by now which you are so pretty cool so what we're going to make is let me actually switch we are going to be making hmm we're going to be making either rocket fuel or fire water. I have not decided. Maybe both. And that is made in the Ender IO fat. So I already got a few of those crafted up. Five to be exact. So what's going to happen is you take water and then either wheat, seed, wheat or seeds or potatoes with sugar and that'll make hooch then you take your hooch and either add gunpowder and redstone or blaze powder and redstone and you can either make rocket fuel or fire water so that's what we're going to kind of work on so I want to take three of these for now and probably need some fluid conduit fluid conduit there probably need some power conduit We're going to need our reservoir, which hopefully is almost ready cooking. Let's get up two of those. One. Excellent. Reservoir. What else are we going to need? So we have about 100 sugar and over 100 wheat. So we should be a pretty good start. So I just got to figure out whether we're going to make rocket fuel or we're going to make fire water. So rocket fuel takes gunpowder and fire water makes, uh, takes blaze powder. Hmm. Ten gunpowder. 
much more blaze powder. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that's going to go. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this uh, kind of set into place and I'll bring you back and we can kind of go over it. So be... Alright, I'm back. So I just got these set down. Just super simple wiring system. Just power and water off the back and then just have some fluid conduits coming out the bottom. So I went ahead and sag milled up all of my blaze rods. So that means I'll have to go get some more. So, so we got 46. So we need some wheat. Some sugar. Well, that's just that'll be enough for now. So let's make some hooch first. So let me sp let's split these up three ways. Give me one. Thirty-five. Okay. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay sugar forty six whatever okay cool so now we should be making hooch and I found out that making the hooch is actually slower than making whatever you do in your secondary tank so we're gonna go ahead and extract here Extract here. Yep. And this is we got our hooch coming in. Excellent. Okay, pretty cool. Alright, so let's grab some redstone. Now we do have soul shards in this mod pack. Unfortunately, I have to get some end stone. I think I can do that with the obsidian. Yeah. I think I can do that with the obsidian trick. So that should give me 50. Or, uh, 250 per enderpearl. So that should give me 5 in stone per enderpearl. It's not bad. Okay, cool. So let's give this a shot. Redstone. Excellent. So we are making our stuff. What are we making? We're making fire water. Come on, give me some fire water. Sweet. And there's our fire water. Awesome. So as you can see, like I was saying, I believe this stage of here is just a little bit slower than this one. So cool. So now let's do something with that fire water. And now that I have all this set right, I can clean this up just a touch. Make it look a little bit better. Do I have exactly enough? No. Who am I kidding? One short. Two short. Alright, cool. So now let's do something with that. So let's grab a multi block generator. Uh, turbine. That's what it's called. That turbine controller, and I need the fluid import. There it is. I made all these up last night. Cool deal. So, Advanced Generators mod from Bidu. I played with it just a little bit in the last series, but did not get to play with it enough. So, I want to give it a shot again. I think I can close this up for now. 
Yeah, you're doing you're doing pretty good. Alright, multi block. So we're gonna have we have six, we have eight, we have nine pieces. Is that right? Seven, nine. So let's make a three by three by three. No wait. We'll do this here. Like that. You here. You here. Ooh, I might have to make some more just to make this even. Like that. All right. So that'll work. Oh, or do I want to let's move this around just a touch? Come here, you. Let's open this up. And then I'll come back and fix this, all this with sods, make it look good. How about that? Okay, cool. So we got that going. And let's make a few more turbines. Let's make three more turbines. Um, actually, I'll do that off camera because unfortunately I had to cheat some cheat something in. I'll show you why. So if I go to turbine, turbine, my fingers are still a little messed up, so my tap typing's off. So you make these iron frames right here. It's four iron in a thing, but when you shift click it in, it gives you a modular ring. So I've had I had to cheat in some of these uh, iron frames since I can't get the recipe to come up. So I'll make that off camera. All right, so let's give this a shot. Extract without. All right, what are we making? Well, I filled up that buffer quick. So it looks like we're making 600 R if a tick. Does that sound, sound right? We can do better than that. Cool, it's still still running just fine. So that's gonna back that's gonna back up a little bit, like it just did right there. Excellent. Okay, all right. Let me get some more pieces crafted up. Let me get some more turbine blocks built up, and I'll only start making some more capacitors, and we can upgrade our power just a touch more. Be back just a second. All right, just getting back from the Nether. Had a pretty successful nether trip was able to get 17 rods some powder one weather skeleton head a little bit of nether or quartz you always need quartz and actually some shards so it's not bad and some more cobalt picked up some more cobalt because I got a new uh, sword that I want to get mine I want to get something that's got fortune on it alright did that guy finish over there yes it did alright I had to cook up some things so I just decided to run to the nether and uh, grab a few things while this was cooking. So I'll put you in there and what I was cooking up was some alloy so I can make some capacitors. Uh, there we go. So we need quite a few of these. I us to like whatever that many is. So that's two, three, four, so that's one more, one. Okay. So at least we can get one more capacitor. Fine by me. Alright, so I realized that I had some more of those uh, turbine pieces in the 
ME system, so I didn't craft them up yet. Except for the wheels. Yeah, that sounds good. So we need three. Three. Okay, cool deal. Alright. See, that is 900 RF a tick with that setup right there. 90 MJ's a tick. It's not bad. It's not too shabby if you ask me. Just grab a few more of these. Piece this back up, make it look a little prettier. Not bad, not bad. Uh, not bad, okay. Cool, now let's wire this thing up. Um, let me grab some conduit. And this will be pretty much us getting rid of the uh, lava power. Now I could switch this to, now keep in mind, I could switch this to run on coal, liquid coal. It could run off buildcraft fuels. It can run off lots of different things. So I just have never played with this rocket fuel and fire water. So I was like, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's play with all the things. Why are you there? You should not be there. Okay. So what we're going to do is that's going to go there. How, how do I want to do this? Maybe like that. And you come to me. Now we're going to lose. Okay, good. It saved the power. I was going to say, I hope. Hopefully, it didn't kill the power. Okay. So now you should have power again. Okay, the ME system's still online. Nice. Alright. My wiring is a little bit janky, but. You know. So that is the out portion of that. Very good. So now this guy should be filling up pretty quickly, and this guy should be running. 900R of a tick. Oh, that's kind of weird. Look at that. Um, yeah. Okay. Very cool. So, and this should self-throttle back down a little bit to, be, to, to meet our um, needs. So, very neat. So now we have 10 million in storage. We can zip this guy back up. I can grab one more piece of facade there. And if I want to continue using the system, I can just expand it a little bit. So not bad. Fire water running our base. I still got enough room over here to put in a uh, big reactor too, which we will. We'll we'll get there. But this is kind of an intermediate power, and we want to play with it. Not bad at all. So we're getting a little bit low on wheat so how uh, I wonder how this has got so much matched so that one's got 4 and 15 
Okay, that is draining. Okay, cool. I guess I could put a bigger fuel tank on here. Awesome. All right, so let me do a quick time check, see where we're at, and we'll go from there. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, we got a few more minutes, so let's make the best of it. Let's grab the sugar cane. So my idea for in here is I'm going to set up like basically a ME sub network. Maybe a sub network, maybe I don't know. I don't know how I want to do that. But anyway, have a sub any some kind of network basically do annihilation planes in the roof. So, if you notice it's exactly three blocks tall. So annihilation plane right there. Once the sugar cane grows up, gets uh, comes to the third uh, tier, it'll get sucked right up by the annihilation plane, right into the network. And I could do that same thing for the cactus, so that was kind of my design inspiration behind that. And it'd be kind of cool to have an elevated uh, elevated wheat thing. So that guy is filled pretty much up. Looks like it's filled all the way up now. Yep it is. And looks like this is throttling down to 68 RF a tick. So basically that's what the system is pulling is 68 RF a tick to maintain the ME network and whatever else is running at this current time. And then if I now I can start turning up, I can start speeding up those machines and this will throttle up depending on what the need is. So I love this turbine generator. I think it's really cool and uh, want to kind of see what we can do with it. I think we can make something cool. So, a couple of cool things that I'm going to make kind of in this episode. Um, first is a atomic disassembler. So let's get that going. So we're going to need some crushed diamond. It's easier to catch on this side than it is on that one. Now the reason I make the atomic disassembler is because in space it's kind of a pain to break things. And you know, just is. So I need what I need. I need both of those. I need to make this into the second tier. Wait a minute, wait a minute, that might be wrong. I don't know, might be wrong. I think I might have screwed up. We'll see. We'll find out really quickly. Alright. Yep, I did. Well done. Pull the recipe back up, please. Yeah, I did. I did, I did. Um, but I can do this. That can do that. Grab one more diamond. Now I did want to go ahead and make a digital miner. That's why I have the osmium compressor and that's why I have a few diamonds. I have that in the uh, mining world. I can take and show you that. It's only run it once but I was basically just gathering diamonds, redstone, lapis, certus, just the, the usual um, usual suspects. So you to here. Okay. So now I have my one obsidian ingot. Obsidian ingot makes fantastic armor. Why you why you no work? There you go. So we'll get this guy going. And reinforced. Now I have to have a thing. I got to do the whole process over again. Because I messed it up. Oh, good. I have one more left. I 
and say that again. Yeah. This is not refined, that's dirty. Okay. Gotta crush the down diamond. Waste of a diamond, but that's alright. We'll go get we can go get more. Give it to me. Okay. You and you. And then reinforce you. Got it. Got it this time, I promise. Refined. Alright. Now do your thing. Okay, so we got some alloy and we make some of those up. No big deal. And we have an atomic alloy. Excellent. Put all you in there. This, oh, my finger's still messed up, so my A and my S's are running together. Okay. There we go. Atomic disassembler. Let's get you charged up. Let's see how well you work in space. Where are we? Where can we dig out a block? Oh, not much better. Nope, not much better. Oh well, it was worth a try. You can always hope. Okay, let's jump back over to... That can stay running, that's fine. Let's jump over to the uh, mining world. I'll show you the digital miner, and then we'll wrap up. In fact, let me cut myself a little bit. That sounds so weird. I'll go ahead and stab myself. I mean, Blood Magic is kind of a dark mod. I mean, mod author encourages you to stab yourself. Anyway. Run. What I'll eventually do is I'll set up one of these. Um, portal thingies to go straight to the mining world. And it's dark. Uh, 